Hello, Scorpio. It's Prado G, and I'm here with a general collective read for your sign. Thank you so much for showing up here today and blessing this video with your energy and your participation. Thank you for your support, for watching. May we bring the clearest of messages for you and your amazing sign today. If your birthday is between October 23rd and November 22nd, then you are a Scorpio, period. So I hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. Take care of yourself. Remember that this is a general and collective reading. So everything may or may not resonate with you. 100%, but take what does resonate for you and leave behind what doesn't. <laughs> the significant number of this reading is number nine. Okay, Scorpios, this is the energy of completion, your last stand, perseverance. You're almost there. You're almost finished. There could be some anxiety, some sort of worries, um, but I feel like you're definitely on the path towards independence or greater independence within yourself. So be confident with this yellow energy representing the solar plexus, which is the stomach area of our body. Make sure that you are following your gut at this point in time and know that you will make it through as long as you are staying focused on your manifestations and what it is that you're trying to manifest here. You are at a point of completion. You're almost there. Shout out to my November 9th babies as well. All right. Now I can be very significant to you for um, as well. Something special or important might be happening on February 9th. I'm hearing but just be very much confident in yourself to be able to push through these challenges. I am getting the energy of challenge. You know, you're being challenged right now. You're being tested. But I feel like you're this is this is your fate. And you're going to make it through. We got peace. Yes. Peaceful energy at the bottom of the deck. We got blame showing up. So I feel a lot of peace coming from the sign of Scorpio right now. This is probably all that you are wanting. You you want more peace moving forward from the past. You are a being of love. And in order for you to experience this level of peace, you got to be willing to release negative energy, okay? If you're holding on to that negative, dark, stagnant, heavy energy, then you are going to find it hard to be in this place of peace. And also blame is one of those negative vibes right there. So accept responsibility for your well-being and release blame. So yeah, that blame energy, I feel like, oh, wow. You're always going to feel a little bit incomplete within if you are constantly blaming someone else for the way that things are turning up. Say, for example, you're not able to experience peace at this point in time, Scorpio. You can't blame anyone else but yourself because honestly, you got to take control over your well-being, over your life. Hold yourself accountable and realize that I don't have to deal with anybody else's negative energy. I can choose in this moment, at any moment in my life to just love myself and love things for what they are so that I can experience more peace. But yeah, so also we got envy showing up in reverse in the future coming up where there will be um, a chance for you to come together with some people. I feel like co collaboration, but know that um, you are the same as everybody with different challenges. So really there's no need for you to envy and also um, removing envious people out of your life, releasing that envious energy, all right? We are all one. We are all connected. And um, yeah, there's no need to be jealous of people because it, it, the envy, if you carry that envy with you, it's going to stunt your own progress, your own growth, right? Yes, that's how. that's just how it goes in life. And then it strips you of your own peace, too, if you're being envious of somebody. So, yeah, release those envious people, that envious energy. My cars are falling. So I, I feel like you got to get things, handle things a little bit better. That's the vibe I'm getting here because my cars is just jumping all over the place. Yesterday, I tried to do a video for y'all as well. And the cars were all over the place. The energy was all over the place. So I do feel like you might be feeling like you're all over the place right now. There's just a need for you to remove yourself from that envious energy. Let it go release those envious people even though i feel like it could be like a challenge for some of y'all but your peace is what's most important okay the first card we got showing up here is reflection and re 
reverse. So there could be some sort of distorted reflection or something that you need to look at from a more balanced perspective. Also knowing that your life is a mirror, okay? A mirror of what it is that you have going on internally is what's going to reflect on the outside. And it's like, also, if you're not peaceful within, right, then that's going to reflect in your outer world. So caution, be very much cautious. Don't be so risky at this point in time, Scorpio. Be cautious and pay attention to what's happening around you. Pay attention to what is stripping you of your peace at this point in time. If it's your thoughts, if it's people around you, if it's just you allowing yourself to be manipulated by external forces, it's time for you to go within and do some deep internal reflection. Then we got movement as well. So I do feel like things are definitely picking up for you in terms of um, just making progress. You're moving along. You're making some movement. You're progressing towards more peaceful experiences where um yeah there might be some people that's envious of you in the way that you are moving and the progress that you are making here it's like you're different you're changing and you're moving towards greater strength that's what i'm seeing here you're you're becoming stronger you're becoming more rooted within your own ability to find peace strength yeah i'm seeing a lot of i'm seeing like a pillar though so i don't know working out a lot of movement too, maybe some exercise. That's what I'm hearing too. Exercise could be a very peaceful mechanism for you as well at this point in time. So get active. Don't just sit around. Do you some push-ups, go to the gym. That's what I'm seeing too. Y'all might be making that choice as well to go to the gym more. Yeah, anger showed up. So yeah, there could be some sort of lingering anger that you have within that needs to be released and use your strength um your physical strength to get that anger out like i don't know go punch a freaking pillow <laughs> or something or a, a punching bag or something at the gym but i do feel like there's a need to release some sort of anger mm -hmm. anger yeah isolation is showing up in reverse too and you might be a little bit afraid at this point in time to be alone or to step away from certain people or things because you're just so used to it. But I do feel like you're gonna be, there's a need for you to isolate or spirit is trying to isolate you at this point in time so that you can work through your anger, okay? Caution is showing up here. Once again, it had to come out in the future. You wanna be very much cautious of the way that you channel your anger and how you allow it to be expressed because if you don't handle it, at the if you try to like act like it's not an issue scorpio later on it's going to come out right so it's like you got to address what it is that needs to be addressed and and find the most constructive way to do it without hurting anybody else or yourself in the future we got creativity yeah so you're a very creative being and you got to be creative with this approach find a way to handle this in a very in a creative way create something that is going to uh, be sustainable ultimately and don't destroy what it is that you have right but i do feel like you're a very bright individual you're very freaking smart you have a lot of ideas but you got to use those ideas and put them into action mm -hmm. yeah yeah try to handle things with less anger get your anger out though like you can't you can't deny the fact that you're angry if you are like you're mad but it's okay like be cautious of how you express it or how you communicate it. The lover's showing up in reverse. So definitely an energy of inequality or imbalance. Something very disharmonic in terms of love. So if it's something that you love doing or if it's a relationship that you're dealing with right now, I feel like there's a need for you to do some in, in some reflection, some deep reflection. You and your partner might be needing to do that because... The, the, you guys are mirroring one another and if you are in balance within yourself it's going to be rifts within your relationship and within your connection but i feel like you both want peace y'all both want peace it's like y'all want to live together y'all want to be together but you need to be peaceful within yourself i'm also getting for some of my single scorpios if you are single this is definitely about you finding that harmony within yourself regaining balance within yourself loving yourself first and foremost that might be the case for you scorpio you might really just need to put yourself first love yourself because until you do then each relationship that you're in is going to be um like this where it's like y'all just not seeing eye to eye or there's arguments hostility um 
yeah that's the vibe i'm getting here with that with the with the lover's card showing up in reverse is definitely just um some sort of even even incompatibility for some people you might be in a relationship with somebody who's just not compatible to you and they don't want uh to be peaceful they like to argue you know and it's like no i don't want to argue no period but this could also be you as well scorpio so take it how it resonates oops excuse me but then we got the page of swords and they wanted to show up like this in reverse but i'm kind of like eh, eh, on this but with the page of swords this is all about truthful communication and being logical but being like also curious as to what else is out there in the world because the page of swords is all about mental faculties and communication so be willing to communicate and not in a rude and insultful way release the gossip i'm telling you because with this page of swords showing up in reverse this is definitely the energy of somebody who's freaking rude who does not know how to communicate properly somebody who likes to gossip and talk crap about people behind their back or somebody that's just not really willing to confront the truth or be confronted with the truth they don't want to be so it's like i feel like you're moving out of that energy though so that's a good sign it's time for you to evolve mentally the page of swords is also a very kind of like it's more of an immature aspect of the air suit right the suit of air it's like a more it's like a, a child almost like how when we were children, the way we used to communicate being children versus how we communicate now as adults it should be different. It's like you evolve. Like, of course, when you're a child, you don't have all of the words. You haven't been through all of that experience to be able to uh, have in-depth conversations like you can now. We got the magician card showing up. Oh, I love this, especially under strength. So I feel like you're very strong in terms of what it is that you're manifesting, what it is that you're creating. You're a very empowered individual and you have the ability to make things more beautiful. You can step out of your element, right? I feel like here, with, especially with this magician card, you have an infinite amount of resources available to you and you know that. And you are utilizing them to create a life that's more stable, uh, a version of you that's stronger and able to push forward, push through. But you got to also trust in your, your strength to manifest, your ability to manifest and create. Because we all are that. We all are manifestors and creating. We're all creating our own lives. But how are you using the elements of life to create, right? Do you feel strong? I feel like you do, though. Here, I'm getting this energy of feeling strong in your manifestations. Your manifestations, the things that you create also make you feel stronger. It's like when you finally manifest something, it, it, it makes you feel super empowered. Very capable. But I do see like some sort of magical strength, like some sort of magical abilities. Some aspect of yourself that is very much magical, though, um, coming into fruition here. And yeah, you should be very much proud of yourself. But with this seven of swords showing up in reverse, be very mindful of withholding the truth because I feel like something is going to get exposed very soon. Some sort of sneaky energy. It's like, stop hiding the fact that you're mad. Like if you're mad about something, be honest about it because it's going to come out. It's going to be exposed, right? And then it might um, create a riff or break, a, a break down a relationship. When all you had to do is just, you know, be be more honest. Be honest about the situation at hand. Don't be afraid of how you feel is going to make somebody feel. I feel like you might be afraid that somebody's going to get mad if you communicate or, or say something. But be honest with yourself, right? Don't be uh, devious. That's the energy I'm getting to. Don't be, like, devilish. Like, that's why you got to handle your anger. Because if you don't, then... Uh, you're not going to be able to move forward in these relationships or manifest the things that you really want and maintain it, right? Because it's, it's weighing down on your conscience. This is the thing about when you know that you're doing something in a rude way or you're holding back some sort of information or whatever the case may be, you might not be telling the full truth. You might be lying to yourself or lying to somebody else about things or keeping some sort of secrets or some secrets could be being kept from you and when they are exposed you got to be able to handle handle your anger like don't blow up don't get so mad um about the information that you're receiving be cautious about it like be cautious about how you 
not only interpret the news that you're getting, but how you handle it, how you receive it, how you communicate as a result of it. Yeah, but try not to be malice track carefully. But um, yeah, I'm definitely getting that vibe here where it's like somebody's secrets are being exposed. Something is coming out. Is you're not able to move in silence anymore. This person that you're dealing with is not able to move in silence anymore. And it could be an air sign too. Definitely get an air sign energy. You might be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But ultimately, you have to go dive deep within yourself because the first card that came out was reflection. And that's all about mirroring. You're only going to be able to attract the type of individual that you are like, right? The energy that you're giving off is what... Um, attracts certain people to you so you got to ask yourself well what is it about me that's attracting this person in the first place wow and then we got the ace of swords showing up so this could be a new beginning for you but i feel like you could be either blocking this new beginning some sort of idea could be being blocked from you some sort of opportunity could be being blocked from you right now because it's like you're you have a lot of mental fog you're angry there's something you're not being cautious right about a specific situation. Be very mindful though about this. This could also be about miscommunication. Somebody not wanting to communicate with you or not knowing how to communicate. So be mindful. Be very mindful of how you are communicating at this point in time as things come up. Also, this could represent hostility. That's what I was saying, Scorpio, about um, somebody revealing something. Like somebody could have been cheating. There could have definitely been some sort of behind the scenes energy and it's like, under, try to understand. Try to understand yourself first and foremost so that you can then extend that understanding to other people that might be having a hard time uh, communicating with you. Or if there's some sort of hostile energies or some sort of obstacles in the way, you want to be very cautious about how you get around these, these energies. But I do feel like um, if you're not cautious, it's going to just create more confusion for you. It's going to create more obstacles. It's going to... Um, be more miscommunication. It's like, be very cautious of how you are choosing to express yourself, how you're choosing to express your thoughts, how you are communicating, like overcome, like with conflict, like you don't want to face conflict with more conflict. And if you're conflicted within Scorpio, then that's definitely some internal work that needs to be done. Once again, soothing yourself through your anger and stop lying to yourself about being upset or not. Like, you, you know, you know that you're upset, you're angry. There's some sort of deep hidden anger due to the past, something from the past where you might not have received enough love from the people that you really wanted love from. That's what I'm hearing for some people. And also, like I said, uh, angry for making certain decisions like cheating. Like if you know that you were being a cheater or you got cheated on in the past, it's best that you just make peace with that. You got to make peace with the fact of the past being the past. If you used to insult people a lot in the past or be rude, yeah, there still might be some um, experiences coming to trigger you and test, test you to see if you are a new version of yourself or not. Are you going to show your strength? Are you going to be that new version of yourself and show up stronger than you were before? Or are you going to give in to the triggers, Scorpio? Then we got someone new showing up here. Talk to someone new. Even the simplest connections increase your feeling of community and trust. Ask a stranger their name. Ask them a question about themselves. It will bring a smile to their face, which will increase your vibe. So yeah, I feel like also you're turning into someone new. You're turning into a newer version of yourself where it's like all about peace and happiness and joy. And also reaching out to new people could be very helpful for you. Just talking to a stranger and letting them, giving them a compliment, making them smile. It does make you feel better as a person too. Mm -hmm. Having a conversation too. Because the Page of Swords is a, a conversationalist. The Page of Swords is definitely somebody who likes to have conversations. So yeah, you might be talking to somebody new too that brings a sense of peace into your life, Scorpio. Mm, that can help you reflect better. Then we got high vibe attractions. Attract high vibrations to yourself. Run around the house excited about life. Doing so puts the law of attraction in play. When you want something good to happen to you, moping around the house and complaining will not get you closer. Get excited about something. Pretend to be excited about something. This rises your vibration. 
makes you feel good inside and naturally attracts other high vibe energy. So yeah, you might even have to pretend a little bit. But high vibes, it's like moping around, being sad about the situation, cursing yourself out, being mad at other people, insulting people, being rude to yourself or other people. That's just a low vibe and it's stripping you of your peace. So, you know, have some fun. Bring some magic into your life. Run around the house, butt naked if you can, <laughs> or jump around your room, you know? Do something to raise that vibe up. Listen to some high-frequency music. Attract those high vibes to yourself. Yes, you can do it, Scorpio. And then we got smiles. Yes, look in the mirror and smile some more. That's what I'm seeing. When you smile at yourself or just choose to breathe in deep, deep breath and smile, right? Smile at someone, look at them in the eye and see an amazing human cre creation. Miracles are everywhere in the form of you and every person you meet, right? So yeah, I'm definitely getting the energy of smiling more or doing things that can make others smile. It makes you feel better ultimately and you're creating a better experience for you. Every aspect or every moment of our life is in a sense, uh, a moment of creation. You are creating this moment for yourself right now by watching this reading and by doing everything that you're doing, you're creating, you're a natural born creator. You can't avoid creation. This is just who you are as an, indi as an individual. So smiling more throughout your day definitely can raise the vibration, make you feel better about yourself overall in the life that you are living. Where's my scenario deck? I think that might be in a room, so I'm gonna have to leave that. I'm gonna pull two more cards and then we're going in and out this message. But yeah, my lovely Scorpios, you deserve peace. And then it's like, you deserve peace. And once you start to experience it, you won't envy people who are peaceful. You won't have to be upset when other people are getting things in life that you feel like are far out of your access. You just gotta change your view. Right? You got to change your perspective on something. You got to change how you're maneuvering, how you communicate. We got colorful. Ooh. And that face. See? <laughs> that face. All right. Colorful. Bring some color into that face. Look, smile. Smile more. It's definitely going to make your face more vibrant. But I don't know. I'm getting the vibe of <coughs> somebody could always be wearing a stick a stuck up face where it's just like your face is stiff <laughs> you're not smiling enough you don't allow your your face make that face that's all i'm gonna say here make that face that will make you feel better that'll that'll raise the room that'll make your life feel more colorful also i'm getting the energy of somebody might be an artist somebody might like to draw paint color coordinate things also i'm getting the lgbt energy so shout out to all of my LGBT Scorpios watching this right now. You are a very colorful, vibrant individual and let that show through your face. Let it show through your face. Smile so that you can bring more color into your life. Smile about the color that you are. You are who you are. You deserve to be um, the creative artist that you were born to be and don't stunt yourself. Don't allow yourself to get so wrapped up in other people's negativity or even your own to the point where it, it, it lowers your vibes. And it, it makes you angry because it's like you're not able to progress or move through life the way that you want to. Just be very much cautious and pay attention to how you are handling hostilities when they show up in your life. And when other people might even be um, envious of you, it's just like it's just the obstacle that you can make your way through. The only way you're going to be able to make your way through with it is by being honest and being gentle and loving and caring. Now, sometimes certain situations require for us to be a little bit more firm and not so gentle, but still be honest and keep that love. If you're gonna be firm, be firm in love, right? Not firm in uh, frustration or fear because that's just a lower frequency vibration that's gonna keep you from manifesting and achieving the things that you actually are trying to achieve at this point in time in your life, Scorpio. But I really hope y'all resonated with this reading on some level. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you want to chat with me in the comment section. I would really appreciate that. Share if you care with another Scorpio or someone who you feel can benefit from the messages in this reading. And also, if you are really about that life, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You are so welcome here and so appreciated. And until next time, peace, love, and prosperity, Scorpios.